All right, so ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kanye from the Nervous Rex, Sir John Adamson in the house. Black man, listen, black man understand, understand black man, that a black man understands. We understand when our women stare mindlessly into the mirror and all they see is an artificial structure, apply their artificial powder, and when they wake up in the morning, they think they have experienced a paradigm shift because their skin has seemingly shifted down and displaced itself. Well, guess what? You have wrinkles and an unwanted frown because your artificial confidence was washed down and you only have yourself to blame for your artificial nonsense. Money is the root to all evil, altering our black consciousness. And what a movement it was, instilling black pride in our brothers and sisters. But now we find an African child saying, I want to be like Mike because Mike is white and that's the life being able to give and not receive This is the misunderstandment between races still thinking that one race is better than the other because we blame previous generations for the way things are We are an angry youth Never mind the fact that we have education, but we do not educate yet still we are an angry youth Never mind the fact that we spend endless hours following Soapies which began generations ago and are still playing within the days of our lives. We spent endless hours following soapies. We sparked scandals between teenage girls of she stole my man and she slept in mine. That's all I see when I'm walking down 70 line. Yeah. Yet still we are an angry youth. Black woman, listen. Black woman understand. Understand black woman that a black woman understands. We understand that we should take serious the demons in a man's mind because exorcism only exercises these demons making them stronger. Born from the fiery inferno of the womb, with these misconceptions we carefully crafted a tomb and in it we placed dignity. In it we laid to rest man's compassion. In it we buried liberty. And we call ourselves liberals. We are more like librarians. Shh. Silence within the four corner compound prison of being a man. As a man in my time, we are constantly denied the freedom of expression. So we drown ourselves in gallons of liquor because as soon as you express yourself, your sexuality is questioned. <laughs> Yet still, look at me. I've been told to shut up. With tears in my eyes, I've been told to man up. Well, I've been told and brutally scrutinized because I, I decided to speak up. Even Mr. Childhood because I've been told to grow up. Yet still, nevertheless, black women, black men, brothers and sisters, members of the congregation, listen to me. We, your children, understand. Yeah.